Hello, this is an IB physics question about mechanics. So you have an object hangs from a light string and moves in a horizontal circle over this R. So here we're talking about circular motion. So this is the, the tension, T, and this is the weight of the object, which is M times G. So here I can break down T into components. One component in the Y axis, and I call it T Y. And the other one in the x axis, which is t x. Okay, so here we're looking for the tangent theta. As you can see, tangent theta depends on the angular speed r and g. Okay, so here, first of all, I know the t x. So here we have a right angle, so this side must be the opposite, which means Tx is T, which is the hypotenuse, times sine of theta. And Ty is the adjacent, so it's going to be T cosine theta. I'm looking for tangent, so I know that already the tangent theta is sine theta divided by cosine theta. Okay, I'm going to use this later. Okay, so Tx, as we know here, is the force responsible for keeping the object in circular motion, which means Tx is equal to the centripetal force, Fc, which is also mv squared divided by r, the radius, or m omega squared times r, since you are looking for omega also, as you can see here. I also know Ty and mg, they are equal. Ty is equal to mg. Okay, so here I have everything I need. So Tx, which is T sine theta is equal to m w squared times r. And Ty is equal to T cosine theta, which is m times g. So here you're going to divide formula 1 divided by 2, 1 over 2. I'm going to have m omega squared times r divided by m times g. 1 divided by r, which is sine over cosine, is tangent, of course. So this is tangent. So it's omega squared. But I can simplify um, So m is going to cancel out. I'm going to end up with tangent theta is equal to omega or w squared times r divided by g. So the right answer must be a.